I'm so excited today I get to go to Cabana Essek for the first time in my life. I've been saving it, and today I'm going to get the real deal, the big experience, somewhere incredibly authentic. To find a real Cabana Essek, you've got to hit the road. I'm heading west, just outside of Rigo, to the one and only La Sucrerie de la Montagne. Pierre! Welcome to the Madec of the Woods. Oh, man, literally. Well, hey. Run by Pierre Fauché and his son, <laughs> Stéphane, La Sucrerie is an official Quebec heritage site. For over 33 years now, La Sucrerie has recreated the traditional cabana sucre experience for everybody. This is a 300-year-old maple grove. It's fantastic. It's noble. It's the emblem of Canada. How close is this to the old way? It looks pretty authentic to me. That's close enough to, to go back uh, probably 1800s. So you're telling me you actually go around and gather all of this yeah, sap, tree by tree. It's not as hard as you think it is. We tap the tree like this, mm -hmm. the bracement bit. It only goes in this deep, like this. You tap it in there with my 100-year-old hammer. Oh, man. You've taken a lot of lives with that bad boy. <laughs> no, not one. I've just used it to tap the tree. And this, uh... Put on a little hook there. This is a stop the snow or the, the rain that mixes the maple water. I kind of want you to show me how you make it and how you heat all this. Sounds good. Yeah, that's uh, the sugar shack. This is the evaporator. It takes 40 liters of sap for one liter of syrup. 40 liters of sap for one liter of... Yeah, yeah. Wow. Why do you have bacon hanging here? And when the sap is boiling, it can overflow. Oh. So we take this bacon and we just touch it, and the fat makes it go down. Wow. It's like, look, you're making spaghetti. It's exactly... You put all the oil in it. That's right. That's my technique. Who told you? Have you been... Are you, are you seeing my mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's... <laughs> This is maple glazed bacon. Are we gonna eat some of this later? My gosh, this is, this is, we say, this one we say for us. What is this for? That's to make the maple taffy. We put it over the snow, it sticks on the snow, and then it makes like a real nice candy. Stefan, Pierre's son, grew up at La Sucrerie and no one knows taffy like this guy. Uh, this is our uh, maple taffy setup. Okay. This is our trough where we serve the maple taffy. It's concentrated maple syrup, so that it's like caramel we pour on the snow and roll it up with a popsicle stick to make a lollipop. You have excellent linesmanship here. Thank you. It's really thick. What you want is just bring it together, roll it up. All right. You can have the full thing if you want. Mine is like a Frankenstein popsicle stick. I'm terrible at this, man. It's like Take a little bit. Oh. All right, moment of truth, everybody. Eat your heart out, Montreal. Enjoy breakfast. Eat fast, because you're getting it out of your glove. <laughs> That's part of the fun, too. Do you eat this every day, Stefan? Pretty much. Let me ask something. Dental fees. Uh, they come out with their office and... Uh, they come right to you. <laughs> Amazing. I want to go eat. Let's go. Let's do it. Follow Let's the sound of the music. I'll keep my stick. Well... A big part of coming to the country and experiencing the Cabana Suc authentic experience is eating the food. And Stefan's going to show us some of the things we're going to try. These are all my grandmother's recipes. These are ancient recipes. Yeah. These are our homemade baked beans and uh, garlic, parsley, and pepper mashed potatoes. Tortillère, meat pie, excellent with our homemade fruit ketchup. So this is how you serve your eggs? Yes. No no, no scrambled eggs, no cheap stuff here. No, souffle. souffle omelet is very good. Amazing. And then here we've got some back bacon oh, with a bit of maple syrup here. So this is back bacon. This is only served at Cabana Sook, from what I understand. I'm going to try this. All right, cheers. All right. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. That's pretty unbelievable. Mm-hmm. That is pretty unbelievable. You don't eat this every day. Just a piece a day. Just a piece a day. That's how you stay so strong. <laughs> shin Shin, amazing. Thank you again. I don't know if it's all the sugar, but it's hard not to get caught up in the vibe of this place. Pierre and Stefan make such an effort to make sure to keep things authentic around here. For my last maple treat before I hit the road, Pierre's promised me a whiff of something new. What is this? Is this, is this perfume? This is a parfum d'érable. It is the aroma and the fragrance of the Canadian maple forest. Do you think it's gotten, it's gotten it really, is it really in there? Ooh. 
Well, <laughs> it's, uh, I certainly smell delicious, Pierre. It's dangerous. It's, da it's not safe. You can be attacked. <laughs> I'm going to easily be attacked. And, and let me tell you, I've been a victim. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Pierre, i got to say, this has been an amazing experience. Well, thank I'm you so much. I'm you glad. made my first time so special.